I was drawing my city today and I noticed I had a gorilla enclosure and I wondered what would happen if 100 men decided to enter it and even talk today at university. Yes, during a city planning degree, we spoke about this meme, 100 men versus one gorilla. Okay, so let's settle this once and for all. We have 100 unarmed men, no weapons, no armor, no plan, basically just human meat bags versus one full-grown silverback gorilla who walks out of that circle. Let's analyze everything, including the human's best attack method. So let's break it down because this fight, I think it's going to be very, very disturbing. Okay. First, let's talk numbers. A male silverback gorilla, we're talking peak prime adult weighs between 140 and 200 kilograms that's 300 to 440 pounds of pure muscle height around 1.5 to 1.8 meters standing nearly five to six foot but they don't fight standing upright they fight low explosive and fast their bite force is over 1,300 PSI. That's twice the bite force of a lion. Their strength, a silverback can lift 1,800 kilograms in a dead weight, and that's a conservative number. That's literally a ton. Most estimates say they're 10 to 20 times stronger than the average human male. Their top speed is 40 kilometers per hour, and they race on all fours. Endurance, it's not marathon level, but it's terrifyingly explosive for small bursts, like a blender filled with muscle, rage, and evolutionary spite. And they've got thick skin, high pain tolerance, and can weaponize their arms like sledgehammers. Plus, they know how to fight. They're territorial and aggressive when challenged, and they're never confused. They're not scared. They're always war ready. Now let's look at the stats of the human. Now, the hundred men, Let's be honest, this isn't a hundred special force soldiers. The meme says men. So let's break that into three tiers. We have the average man globally. They're 70 kilos, five foot seven, no combat experience and barely does any cardio. We also have category two. We then have the Western average, which is America, the UK, Australia, Europe. It's closer to 80 to 85 kilos, slightly taller, but still not trained for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Then we have the third category, which is if we send in only athletic males, more useful, but sure, their coordination becomes the issue here though. Let's say if we gave you 100 fit adult males. So category three, maybe some gym bros, ex-rugby lads, sprinters, maybe a few wrestlers. It doesn't help that much if they don't work as a unit because evolution didn't design us to fight wild beasts with our bare hands. It designed us to run, sweat, and throw spears, not fist fight gorillas. But then I started thinking about 100 African American men because they're arguably very strong. If you picked 100 top tier NFL linebackers and sprinters, you'd boost raw strength and explosive Sure, but again, the coordination and numbers don't mean much in a melee against something that can break your spine by accident. Now let's get onto the fight, the raw chaos. Let's say this all kicks off in the gorilla cage in my city. The gorilla is in the middle. The men form a circle. The air is so tense. The first mistake is surrounding it because the moment anyone flinches, that gorilla is launching. And when it charges, it doesn't just hit one man. It trucks through about five men. So we're down to 95. We've got cracked skulls, collapsed chests bodies flung like bowling pins, the humans will panic. Some will rush in, some will retreat because there's no coordination, there's just fear. And the gorilla, it's still got stamina for another 30 seconds of murder spree. Even if 10 guys dogpile it, the gorilla isn't going down easy. It's thrashing, biting, ripping off limbs. Those arms can break through bone. It'll clear piles of humans with a few wild rolls. There'll be blood everywhere, screaming. A hundred quickly becomes 60 men, 40 men, and then 15 men. The best case is it gets tired. The worst case, obviously, it doesn't, and it just lays on the ground and continues fighting. So let's look at a strategy. Is there a way that the humans can win. So let's say the hundred men have one hour to prep before they go in. They've still got no tools, no weapons, just their bodies and minds. So here's the best hypothetical that they can do. There's four things. Number one is swarm from behind. Gorillas aren't built for 360 degree defense. Hit it from the back where it can't bite or swipe easily. Two, climb and smother it and dogpile with mass. 10 to 20 men need to grab arms, legs, its neck, and apply body weight. Hold tight and grip. Three, 
choke and blind. Humans could attempt to gouge eyes or choke its limbs. Extremely risky and still not guaranteed, but mildly possible. Four is make a sacrificial wave. The first 10 to 20 men would almost certainly die, but that's their job, to tire it out to create an opening. Is this doable? Maybe, but you're still looking at about 20 to 30 dead and 50 to 60 seriously injured and maimed, and even then, you might just stun it and it might not die. So let's break this down into some scenario numbers. We have scenario A to D. The first one, A, it's 100 average men with no plan. Gorilla wins, 99% certainty. Might kill 30 to 40 before tiring. The rest flee or die slowly. Scenario B, 100 athletic men, still no plan. Still, the gorilla wins. Better damage output from humans, but no coordination, equals gorilla tanks it. Yeah. Scenario C, 100 trained fighters, let's say UFC level. Now this is interesting, if they work together there's a chance, maybe 30 to 40 dead, but the gorilla could get overwhelmed, but I don't think the UFC guys will win. Let's go scenario D. 100 elite soldiers, trained in group takedown tactics, still no weapons. This is the only group with a 50% chance of success. Think them doing chokeholds, swarming sacrifice, but still huge losses. So what about the gorilla's weaknesses? Let's be fair, it's not an immortal being. It's got thick skin around the eyes and ears. Gouging this still is a weak point if you do it right. It doesn't handle swarms well, so coordination is kind of its kryptonite. It's not invincible to fatigue, so prolonged combat will drain it, but none of that helps when you're in the first wave and your female just got snapped in half by a backhand. So who wins? In most real life scenarios, the gorilla wins, not because it's smarter, not because it's immortal, but because a hundred men aren't a team, they're just bodies, and unless they act like one organism with a singular goal and sacrificial tactics, they're just soft, loud targets. The silverback doesn't need a strategy, it is the strategy, and honestly, it's not even a fair fight. This meme's fun, but the outcome is brutal, so next time you see this question come up on any of your feed, don't ask could the humans win, ask how many funerals are we planning? Let me know in the comments what strategy you would use if you were one of these hundred men.